Hi friends, this is Bilal Heather and <clears throat> this is my 20, 20th video lecture on Expert Advisor Programming. <clears throat> In this video, I'll be uh, making a function uh, which will place a pending order, whatever the price will pass into that function and whatever the stop loss will pass in that function and it will place a buy stop order for us <coughs> previously uh, we have seen um, how you can create a function to uh, place a sell rate and i have also written a function for opening a buy trade so these function we will be using later on in our expert advisor to open um, buy or sell trades so now let's start making our um, buy stop function which will place um, a buy stop order for us we have to pass um, a certain uh, price for this um, buy stop order as um, it depends <coughs> on the market uh, whatever the price uh, we wanted to um, place the buy stop um, at at that price okay so let's start uh, writing our order send function order send and the first parameter it takes the symbol second it takes the order type so the order type is buy stop the third uh, symbol it takes the lots <coughs> and the fourth symbol it, it will take the price in this case because we wanted this um, buy stop order at a certain price uh, we'll uh, pass into that function later on okay the next value is um, the next argument is slippage and the stop loss will be price um, minus stop loss multiplied by sorry the stop loss we um, we are not um, fixing that stop loss to particular pip value but we'll um, pass uh, in a stop loss based on um, some calculation okay so we'll just write that stop uh, directly in here this stop loss will be in double value so we really uh, don't need to convert that into a double value previously we were having the stop loss in integer value so we have uh, we must convert it into a double value to be understandable by the expert advisor the next thing is um, the take profit value so ask plus <coughs> sorry the price plus uh, take profit take pref <coughs> take profit is the variable which holds the uh, take profit uh, number in in pips so the next variable is the comment we set it to null we don't want any comment for the particular trade magic is the magic number and the arrow uh, color should be pink so this um, this is the function upon calling uh, and passing two values uh, it will um, place a buy stop order for us let's make another function to open a sell stop order open sell stop uh, double price and double um, stop okay we're passing two arguments same as the buy stop order <coughs> let's copy um, this function and change certain things from it so save time copy and paste the order type be uh, order type will be sell stop the lots is okay 
the bid um, change it to price the stop loss will be the stop loss will be passing in and the <coughs> take profit value will be price minus take profit multiplied by point and the arrow uh, should be black let's say okay <coughs> now we have um, made our four functions um, which which will place the certain type of order upon calling them so <coughs> We must define these two uh, variables above here like the price and the stop and that's all compile it and it says uh, it, it gives us some error okay <coughs> remove these these because we don't need them we are we have already <coughs> defined them inside uh, inside these functions so double price double stop okay so we have created our um, four functions and because we are not using them right now that's why it is uh, giving us four warnings because uh, <coughs> if we won't be using any of these functions they will be removed from the um, expert advisor when compiling this uh, code so that's all for the tutorial uh, now you know how to write um, functions uh, the functions um, those function who um, place trades uh, whether they the trade is of buy buy trade or sell or whatever the type of trade it is these functions uh, will be helping us to place our trade thank you for watching this tutorial um, see you in the next tutorial